Tonight on the docket, the GOP embraces big government spending as the protests on Wall Street heat up. House Speaker John Boehner has talked a big game so far during his tenure. He's talked about massive spending cuts. He's talked about refusing to lift the debt ceiling. He's talked about shrinking the size of government. But he's done none of these things. Today comes word that House Speaker Boehner will push for a massive public works bill centered around transportation projects and likely paid for by taxes on energy. That would be gasoline. More on that later in the show. But tonight, tensions are rising in lower Manhattan despite protesters averting a confrontation with police this morning. Many of the demonstrators are camping out in Zuccotti Park, which they've termed Liberty Park, a privately owned park in lower Manhattan that is reserved for public use. A company called Brookfield Properties, the folks who own the park, requested the aid of the police to clear the protesters early this morning so they could clean their own property. The protesters, rather than digging in their heels and forcing a violent confrontation with the cops, showed up instead with brooms and plastic bags, offering to clean the park themselves, and they did. In response, Brookfield has agreed to delay the cleaning and let the protests resume. But the tension is rising in downtown Manhattan, according to Fox Business reporters on the scene, which means the potential for conflict with the police has not gone away. For more on the temperature of protests on Wall Street, we turn to our favorite protester, Danny Panzella, who's right down there in the thick of it. Danny, it's a pleasure. Welcome back to Freedom Watch. It's always great to be on your show, Judge. All right. What's, what's the latest? What's the mood? What's the tempo today? Well, there is some tension going on right now. It looks like we've got a temporary reprieve, uh, but everybody's very nervous that the NYPD is going to force us out of the park today. Uh, there are some rumors to that effect, so I guess we'll see what's happening. There is a lot of police presence here, uh, whereas lately they've kind of dwindled pr police presence down uh, for certain, at certain times. So I guess we're just all waiting to see what's going to happen today. Is there the perception that the police do not like the message or is there the perception that the police would rather be doing other things than uh, monitoring you folks in the park? What do you think the police yeah. goal really is? Well, absolutely. Uh, a lot of the rank and file police officers, what we call the blue shirts, are very supportive. We a lot of times will have them approach us and say, listen, we're, we agree with you, we understand. They're trying to raid our pensions as well. Uh, but, you know, the white shirts, the higher ranking officers, I think are just doing the bidding of the mayor and the and the top brass so there is definitely um, a vibe of support from the rank and file police officers and they certainly don't want to be down here arresting people for violating the first amendment for the most part uh, earlier this week uh, our show in an effort to find common ground between the libertarian protesters protesters of whom you are one and the big government protesters, which seems to embrace the values of most of the crowd. In doing so, we made a couple of suggestions that might find some common ground, and I'm interested in your thoughts on this, your personal thoughts on whether you think this would be common ground. End the Fed. End the wars. End the IRS. What do you think? Absolutely. I think the Fed is the number one issue because the Fed is where all the other issues spring from. Without the Fed, we wouldn't have the IRS to collect the tax to pay the debt on the money that the Fed creates. The wars are funded endlessly by the money that the Fed prints. So if we could focus on the one issue of the Fed and change, get rid of that private banking monopoly that essentially plans our economy, we could, the, the wars and the IRS would end themselves. Now, Danny, you were saying that to me as a libertarian who, if he could, would probably vote for Ron Paul. Don't let me put words in your mouth. Will the others behind you, who would prefer Dennis Kucinich or Ralph Nader in the White House, or who even might want to vote to re-elect the president, would they share the values and the argument you just made so nicely about the evils spawned by the Federal Reserve? Well, there is an education process. I do want to say, though, there are very, very few Obama supporters here. Uh, there may be some Kucinich supporters. Uh, I think that there's some education. When, when we first came down here and started saying end the Fed, most of the left-leaning protesters took that as end regulation, let the banks do whatever they want. We've been trying to educate them what end the Fed means is end the banking monopoly, end the corporate control over our government. And when we really explain that, they get on board. Got so it. we really have been able to make a lot of common, uh, develop a lot of common ground between the leftist uh, end of the protests.
Danny Panzella, it's a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Keep up the good fight.